my name is Trinity and I'm going into my fourth year here at St. FX or St. Francis Xavier University. I'm doing a Bachelor of Science with a major in Biology. Some of the really great things about St. FX are that it's a small town, a small school, so I know all my profs by name and they know me. On any given day, I'll be walking to class and see two or three people I know which is really great forming a sense of community. Now, if you're not so much of a small town person, then St. FX definitely isn't for you, but the community is so welcoming and supportive of the students. It's honestly really great. So in the biology program, you're looking at labs for almost all your classes on top of your regular class hours. It's gonna be fast paced and there's a lot of work to get done, but it is possible. And of course it depends on the prof, but for the most part, it's mainly midterms and exams that you're gonna be graded on. Uh, and a lot of times your lab mark actually has a huge effect on your overall class mark. So definitely put in the effort when you're in lab. You wanna get really good at learning uh, how to apply things that you learn in class. It's not going to be like high school. They are rarely going to ask you to regurgitate information. It's going to be knowing the topic and knowing how to apply it in different types of scenarios. I realized in first year that you have to work a lot harder in university than you ever did in high school. There's a lot more material. You're going to have a lot more to do. You're going to be really busy, but if you stay on top of your notes and you stay on top of going to class, then you're gonna be just fine. So if you're gonna do a biology major like myself uh, here at St. FX, then in first year, you're gonna be taking a full year of biology, a full year of chemistry, a full year of calculus, and potentially physics, of course, it's up to you. You're also going to be taking uh, electives because St. FX does really emphasize having a combination of a science and arts education, which I really love. So your first year bio classes are going to be introduction to cell biology and the diversity of life. Once you get to second year, you're gonna to wanna to take four of the five following courses, animal bio, plant bio, microbiology, genetics, and ecology. Now you don't have to do all of these in second year, they're just all 200 level courses, and you do need them to finish with a biology major. The Bachelor of Science, just like most programs at St. FX, is a four-year program. And be aware that you do have to take a lot of chem. Some people go into bio thinking they won't have to, but you really do. And you also really need to like hands-on work because that's what you're gonna be doing in the lab. You're gonna be learning hard skills that you can apply to a research setting or your post-grad plans. You're really gonna to want to have English, some upper year science courses, and some advanced math courses if you are looking to take science. And I would recommend taking calculus if you can. So I know a lot of people would rather not or it's not offered at their high school, but it makes first year calculus way easier if you already have a background in it. So far, actually, my hardest class has been organic chemistry and a lot of people would agree with me uh, it's just a lot of material to absorb in a pretty short amount of time. When it comes to course registration, it opens up the summer before each academic year. You're going to be given a time to register and access to the timetable and academic calendar. Uh, you can put your schedule together on your own or you can ask for help from an academic advisor. And I would highly, highly recommend if you have questions about a class or you're not sure if you would be interested in it or not, definitely email the prof and ask because they're happy to answer your questions and they obviously want you in their class. So my post-grad plans are med school, but it's a huge misconception that if you're taking biology that you have to be a doctor. There are so many different directions you can go in with a biology degree uh, that don't involve med school or dental school or what have you. I definitely recommend doing research during your undergrad. In first year, all your profs will hound you about doing research and it's because they're right. It's an invaluable experience 
and it definitely helps you narrow down where you see yourself in the future. I would also recommend doing an advanced major if you can, uh, because that gives you the opportunity to take a junior and senior seminar in your third and fourth years. And those are non-credit courses that are basically based around career planning, figuring out what kind of learner you are, what your personal interests are, and it also helps you form friendships uh, within your own department. I would also say co-op is a great option. I did not do that myself, but I do know some students who have done a co-op or an exchange program and got a whole lot out of it. I would definitely recommend living in the dorms. I lived in McIsaac Hall, which is all double rooms. Uh, you get assigned a random roommate, and it's really great for making friends. The nice thing about St. FX is that most of the student body is from away. So everyone's kind of in the same boat. Everyone's looking to make friends and meet new people. So it makes that part super easy. Another great thing about living in residence is the house spirit. So there's house hockey every year. And in Frosh Week, there will be lots of residence pride activities. It's a whole lot of fun. As far as living off campus, most people move off campus um, for their second or third year, and you definitely need to start looking in the fall. So the, all the houses get snatched up pretty quickly. So if you are really picky or have a certain amount of roommates you wanna live with, then definitely get started early. Now, one thing about St. FX is that there is definitely a party culture. However, if you don't wanna be part of it, then you definitely don't have to. There are lots of residences with single rooms or with quieter kind of atmospheres than the one that I lived in for sure. If you do wanna be part of it, then the inn, which is the bar on campus, is lots of fun. There's wing night every Wednesday, which is a huge deal at St. FX. And I definitely would say the campus is just a great place to be. There's lots of good food. There's a Starbucks on campus. There's lots of fun societies. And if there's not a society for you, then you make one. I made my own society um, and it's going really well. There's tons of diversity at St. FX. There's lots of international students. So there's students from all over the world. It's a really inclusive campus. And one thing that I love about St. FX is that social activism is really encouraged. There are lots of ways to get involved. And if you have a specific project or cause in mind, guaranteed you can make something happen for it. As far as resources at St. FX, uh, there is a clinic and counselors on campus. There are lots of opportunities for financial aid. There's academic advising and staff that are specifically, their job is to help you with career goals. And there's also an opportunity to get insurance through the school, which is super helpful for students who don't already have it. If I could give a piece of advice to incoming first year St. FX students, I would say definitely stay on top of your work. For science students, this might mean not over scheduling yourself. That's something that I did. I thought I had to get all my hard courses and labs done in first and second year, but really I just burned myself out. So there's nothing wrong with spreading things out and making your workload more manageable for you. And on that note, definitely take time for yourself. Your mental health is the most important and most of all have fun. University is a great experience where you figure out who you are and I love it here. If I could go back, I would choose St. FX all over again. Good luck, and hopefully I see you here in the fall.